Welcome to Google Earth. Let's review a few of the navigation methods inside the 3D viewer window. Grab, left click and move or drag the image. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in, turn it upwards and zoom out, turn it downwards. The three buttons on the right of the 3D viewer to change orientation Rotate image Zoom in and zoom out We're going to select a number of places for the tour. For that, we need a folder. Select Add in the toolbar at the top, and then Folder. Or right-click and then Add Folder. Folders are displayed in the Places panel. Select the folder with a left click to indicate that we want to add places into it. The first place we need for the tour is Cape Town International Airport. Enter the description in the search box and click on Search or select from available options in the drop-down list. When the place that you searched for is displayed in the 3D view panel, you can adjust the view by tilting, rotating, zooming or moving it. Once you are satisfied with the view of the place, add a place mark. Click on the place mark icon on the top toolbar and complete the information in the subsequent panel. You can move the position where the place mark and its icon will appear in the 3D viewer. The name that you enter will be displayed in the view panel if you select it to be displayed. The default icon for a place mark is a yellow pin. It can be changed to any icon from the available selection. For our tour, we select no icon. We will look at some of the other options for place marks shortly. Our first place mark will now appear underneath the folder for Jack's tour. The next place mark for our tour is the v &A waterfront. We will use three different views of the waterfront. First, an overview of the area from the airport. Once the waterfront is located, we manipulate the view slightly Name it and uncheck the place name so that its name will not be displayed. The second view is a close-up of the waterfront area. We name it properly as we want to see it on the 3D viewer. The third view is slightly away to see some of the surrounding attractions 
such as Cape Town Stadium. Again, this name will not be displayed. Now we move to Beaufort West and add the town as a place mark. Our final destination is the Karoo National Park. Let's add a place mark for South Africa. This will give us a global view of South Africa as the starting point of the tour. The quickest way is to navigate and manipulate the 3D viewer to show South Africa. We add a place mark and name it South Africa. We want the name South Africa to stand out from the other place marks. To present South Africa as our first viewpoint in the tour, we move it to the top place in our folder by dragging it into position. Before heading out of Cape Town, it's a good idea to give a broader view of the Western Cape. Similar to the place mark for South Africa, we change the color and scale of the name. Remove the search box when done to remove the built-in names of places you found with search. Make sure all your place marks appear in the correct sequence within the folder for Jack's tour. Now is also the time to check or uncheck the place marks that we want to display in the 3D viewer. The same applies to the layers. For this demo, we only want the layers for roads and 3D buildings to be displayed. Before we view the tour, there are settings to change its behavior. To clear the 3D viewer from unnecessary items, go to View and uncheck everything except Toolbar and Sidebar. We are now ready to view our tour. Click on Folder for Jack's Tour. A Play Tour icon will appear at the bottom of the Places panel. Click here to start the tour. When you move the cursor inside the 3D viewer, a panel of 
pause, stop, restart buttons appear. These buttons will also appear automatically when the tour finishes. You can at any time go back and make changes to your place marks in the folder. One handy option is to set a new view for a place mark with a snapshot view feature. When you are happy with a tour, it needs to be saved as a tour. Click on this icon and name the tour. The tour is also placed in the Places panel, similar to the folders and place marks. The final step is to convert this tour into a movie. Select Tools in the top toolbar and then on Movie Maker. Disabled? It is because you did not exit the tour buttons at the 3D viewer. Select the quality of the video. Select the tour that you want to record and the location of the resulting movie file. This process will take several minutes to complete. The demo was fast forwarded to the end of the process. The movie is done! Exit Google Earth and watch it from the location where you saved the movie file.